In this video we're going to be looking at putting some ground around our house and with, when I mean ground I mean that we'll have some slopes in it um, and it may be flat, it can be any shape that you want and it will give the effect of a, a more realistic house where we can put gardens and plants into. So starting off with my SS house you notice here that I've resaved it as SS house my name and top or topography that's what the ground is we called when we do it in Revit, it's called topography. And I've resaved that and I'm starting off. First of all, I'm going to come into my um, 3D view. And you can see here, uh, one of the things I need to do is just change a couple of these slabs. I want to give them a tiled effect. So if I come up to, um, if I choose that slab there and hold my sh control key down and choose that slab there. Uh, come up into my properties and look down here and I should have one called 300 mil tiles clicking on that one and that's going to fill those two areas in with the top of them being tiled so that's looking good there uh, for a start now I might actually just drop this one down 100 mils as well it's at the moment it's at right at uh, floor height I might just put a step in there and um, just make it 100 down and enter um, yeah, that's good. I think we've just got a little step going inside there now. Uh, up, up to you whether you do that or not. Maybe I'll leave it. Maybe I'll undo that. Don't like that step looking there. That looks better like so. Next thing I want to do is put a driveway in. And we put a driveway in just like we put a floor in. So I'm going to come back into footings plan. And come up and select floor architectural. In our list there we will have a floor that has... Um, tiles on it which is the 100 mil tiles I'm going to start it off 100 below ground floor don't forget to put your ground floor in as the level and then you minus 100 below that you notice that we get our modify create floor uh, set up here that we've you've used before with your slab uh, I'm just going to choose rectangle here I'm going to come in and Actually, I might just draw this one by freehand. It might be a little bit easier and a bit more accurate. So I'm going to come in here. I'm coming over to this corner here. And I'm going to make this 5 metres, I think. Well, let's make it 6 metres. It doesn't really matter how long we make this driveway. So we'll click on there, and we come back across, and we line that up and come back up. That way we'll get a bit more accurate. It seems not to snap when it's um, using the uh, rectangle tool. Uh, that looks good to me. I've got it in 100mm tiles. I've got all my heights correct. I'm just going to give that a tick. It disappeared on here because it, our, remember our footings are showing below that level that we've just put our driveway in. But if we come back into our 3D, we should see our driveway sitting there level with our shed so we can drive our car straight in. And we've got a slight little step up and then into the house so that's quite good just have a swing around look at that in a little bit different direction you can see that it's looking great okay all right so we're ready now to start to put in our um, topography and I want you to go on to the next video to see how to do that